Hello guys, it's Rad and uh, welcome to the channel, welcome to Radko Tarot and uh, this is going to be a weekly tarot reading for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising February 4th to February 10th, 2019 I'm going to use the original standard a tarot reader weight tarot deck and now I'm going to shuffle basically the cards so while I'm shuffling, I uh, want to remind you once again that that is going to be a, a general reading and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way with uh, every single different Capricorns. So if you want to make it a little bit more personal, you know, in your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for the future regarding to what you are facing, then that is a, a subject of a personal reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there, of course, you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So now uh, cutting down the cards and let's see what we got for you, Capricorn. So the first card that is going to be the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Wands is about the topic of your week. Followed by a second card which displays uh, the negative taking that you can do toward the situation or toward the topic. So in other words, things that you should not do. So you can capitalize on the topic. That is the Queen of uh, Wands. Followed by the Tree of Wands which is the positive aspect or the positive approach that you can take toward the topic here. And the last card that we do have for you Capricorns, wow, a lot of wands actually, this is going to be quite of a crazy week, it is what we do have here, five of wands, it is the final outcome which uh, manifests itself if you follow the guidance that Tarot is giving to you. Uh, with this uh, spread, the final outcome is always a positive uh, taking, is with a, a positive taking. And so hopefully uh, with this reading, uh, you will be able to, you are going to be forewarned um, and therefore forearmed how you can take on the week that it is coming. So just from the fir first glance here, uh, from these cards, as I said, quite of a crazy week, a lot of things to attend, a lot of things to take on and a lot of uh, predicaments to overcome and issues to resolve as well. Uh, it could be a totally normal daily routine uh, that you do have, you know, but yet uh, normal from a sense of uh, from a sense of a, a flow, but the flux is going to be quite exaggerated. Now that is displayed here with the eight of wands, the very first card, the topic. The eight of wands is about speed, all right, and it's about how the flow of events it's moving and the flux of that flow is going to be hyper exaggerated which means that there are going to be many things happening around most of the time simultaneously uh, but this card opens up a room for many new opportunities as well like opportunities that comes by and go with the flow if not seized and not catched so throughout this week uh, you will uh, hear Capricorn have the options to play with, uh, with your things, with your relationship and uh, with your career as well, you know, with everything that you are uh, facing really. And there will be a lot of surprises in there, which if you capitalize on correctly, these surprises can be traversed into a, a very productive endeavors. The Eight of Wands, however, urges you to be very careful because if you don't approach those uh, options, new options available with calm mind, decisiveness and calculation, you can rob yourself big time. Giving you an example straight away, you're single, someone approaches you and shows interest in you out of nowhere, you know, but because you're used to not give yourself lightly, you know, or used to uh, people to chase you here, not showing your interest toward them, or well, they are gone, they will not show it twice. So it's very, very important here to, again, be uh, kind of like decisive when it comes to acting upon those, uh, upon those new circumstances which are coming. Additionally, Eight of Wands, it's also about creative expression. So, you can expect new means 
uh, new resources to work with into your career, into your relationship as well. So literally this week, February 4th or to February 10th is going to be a week where you are going to make a difference and a week that will give you an opportunity to traverse a, um, a plight into a, a productive situation, which is displayed in the last, in the very last card, all right, but we're gonna go there in a, a few minutes. The accompanying card of the um, Eight of Wands here, this is going to be the Six of Cups, and that adds a shade of a bit of a chores uh, with this specific combo. We do have an active enemies with this, um, with this combination, which means that many of those uh, enterprises which are coming by with the flux of the uh, of the situation and with the daily routine are gonna cut you a bit off guard and um, you may not feel yourself particularly uh, exhilarated and happy of contributing into them. However, the recognition that exactly those uh, rather uh, kind of like, I will, I will classify it as a poignant events are holding the key for your further growth and the key for uh, basically further, further unfoldment and definitely the key for capitalizing on this uh, on these new doors which are opening for you. But again, you got to be uh, very determined and uh, you need to kind of exert decisiveness when it comes to acting upon those new enterprises coming in your world. Now the next card, which is the negative aspect that you can uh, do regarding the situation that is going to be or how you can basically screw the things up uh, that or in other words, what you should not do here. This is going to be the Queen of Wands and Queen of Wands is very confident, cocky and seemingly all capable of everything person. So this is what you should not do. All right. Being cocky thinking that uh, you're, I, I can't say really almighty, but that you are gonna manage everything with ease and uh, basically not, uh, not attending responsible toward the situation itself. Also, this card points that you should not be very touchy on criticism. Whenever criticism comes around throughout this week, uh, that criticism is fairly served. So uh, if there are things which you are doing wrong here or which you are not uh, capitalizing on with a 100% uh, capacity or potential, uh, those which are involved as well in those situations will make a note of it and you have to take that note under consideration. Additionally to that, with the Queen of Wands, you should accept that you don't know everything in the human nature, all right? You, yet, you have yet to discover positive uh, capabilities, positive attitudes, and basically positive qualities into some people that you are working with or that you are with. For example, if you have lost faith that things can work uh, with you and the suitor uh, you are trying to be with or that the suitor wants to be with you, you know, well, guess again, throughout that week, something is to happen there to traverse that opinion of yours. So it, you basically with this card, you are yet to discover um, that things can work out basically and therefore you should not be biased about the doom and gloom. And finally with the Queen of Wands, uh, uh, this card points that you uh, throughout the week you will have a, a very kind of like boosted business sense. It's a cute business sense, but also the car points that you should seek always a, a, a way to improve that business sense. I don't want to say it that way, but the car itself points that there is something you're doing wrong business-wise. And this week, it is the time where you have to leave your pride on the shelf, listen to what you have been told, and uh, basically learn your lesson from it, or kind of add stipulations to your plan, and etc., etc., from these ideas, so you can make your plan much more productive and um, with a capability to basically lead you uh, or to trampling you into a further growth. 
the three of cups here as a uh, accompanying card or the or as a uh, a catalyst that we do have an, an active enemies and basically adds that particular shade it kind of boosts the shade that you will basically have to listen to others things are changing guys things are changing like you like it or not and you have to adapt yourself to that change this change involves other people suitors or not business partners or not colleagues of, or, or not and you have to be a team player you cannot be alone all right you cannot it's it's more like you know thinking that you can be uh, uh strong enough on your own you know to basically take on these um these opportunities but it's going to be so much more productive if you actually share these opportunities with other people not to mention that as soon as you start this cooperation with other people um things are going to be uh, to take a completely different um a color if I may express myself that way, and you are to expand your vision, new ideas are going to come around business-wise or relationship-wise, and not to mention that you are going to ease as well your worries. That is also very, very important. And if you are facing a certain predicaments, it is uh, very possible that from these cooperations, actually the, result, the resolution of those predicaments is going to come around. Now, the next card that we do have for you Capricorns, this is the thing that you should capitalize on or the, uh, the positive approach toward the situation. And we do have the Tree of Wands. So what the Tree of Wands here says is that you should uh, step on the already established patterns. Basically, uh, that card asks you to deprive your actions from risk taking and to stick to the original routine, to stick to the original plan. Why? It is because the card says that you are good in what you are doing, but it just what you are doing needs a little bit more challenges. So through the challenges, you can provoke growth. So let's say that you are a, a business consultant, all right? And uh, you got to keep on into that direction, consulting, but maybe it's time right now to take under the consideration what the other tells you, that you can be much more successful in a big company, gather up the courage and try out into a big company. It's more like, again, placing further challenges, placing your capabilities into bigger challenges, which are going to come around with this crazy routine, with this exaggerated flux that you are to experience throughout the week. Uh, important thing with the three of ones is to that um, you need to aim whatever you do throughout the week to be synergized with your expectations. So in another words said, uh, <clears throat> you need to uh, you need to exert yourself in those kind of activities that you actually know how to do things if that makes uh, if that makes any sense. Uh, to you, if that makes sense to you. So uh, just the trivial example here, if you uh, are again business consultant and something breaks in your home, like uh, a tube or something, you are not a plumber, just ask for, you know, a profession professionalist to do their part and you have to do your part as well. And uh, with, with the three of ones, if you kind of like follow your skills and your capabilities career wise or relationship wise uh, it is likely that uh, the um, the materialization of your efforts are going to synergize completely with your expectations relationship wise example if you are not good in flirting or if you are not well uh, pretty much um, kind of like uh, a very romantic person Romantic approach should not be the approach that you need to rely on, but and the approach that you need to rely on. But you can be a, a very compassionate person, all right? So basically, you got to rely on what you're good at instead of trying kind of like a, a different approach toward the situation or abnormal approach for your, uh, for your being and for yourself toward the situation itself. It is just stick to what you're good at here, guys. Uh, Give yourself a challenge to, to try to conquer new shores or, or new summits here and definitely a growth is going to be provoked which gives you a, another 
kind of like shade of the situation that everything that comes around with the eight of wands here everything that's uh, uh it, it it flows with this flux is not everything meant for you and that's why you gotta be decisive and calculative when it comes to taking on some of those opportunities you know you gotta take only those opportunities that you know that you can bring to very end or that you know that you can capitalize on instead of risking things you don't have to risk you should not risk because there is a lot in stake with the eight of wands that card could evaluate you very high or it could it can bring you down and that's why it's very important here with this follow-up of cards for your week capricorns to play on secure bet the accompanied card with the tree of um with the tree of wands that is going to be the two of uh, the two of cups. So uh, a a bit of a peculiar uh, situation. This is what we do have with the two of cups. We do have a an active enemies, and what this card here uh, it is um, it is urging you to do is to rely completely on your personal uh, capabilities and your personal skills, and uh, not to expect that a help is going to come around when you need it. Although the help may come around, that should not be a, a prerequisite once again to take on a, a challenge. Or the challenges needs to be placed in a such a way that you can uh, overcome them on your own in case that the, either the help doesn't come around or the help prove itself extremely futile and uh, at the end you one way or another you have been left uh, to overcome those um, those new summits of yours uh, on your own uh, in any case and uh, lastly what we do have for you capricorns uh, this is going to be the five of wands that is the final outcome in case you follow uh, the guidance of tarot and what the five of wands here uh, plays is that there are going to be many around turns there are going to be many surprises and uh, you will start readopting your strategies accordingly to the challenges that you are placing uh, that you are placing in front of yourself. Just think of it that way. You know, you do your routine, and uh, something happens as the topic. You know, things start speeding up, and everything is in in is in exaggerated flux. And suddenly, you know, a, a new means, new resources come around, which you have to approach creatively here, and you don't know how to fix with those resources but you know that you got to do something out of it and uh, <clears throat> suddenly as you step on the already existing patterns here you keep up you keep close with your uh, with what you're good at with your capabilities you start to realize that those resources those beings can actually make a difference into a, a troublesome situation of yours into a plight of yours because I seldom use a, a different science than tarot to make my prediction, but in these cases, I have to do it, and that is the number five. Number five is the number of change, and even better, number five, it is the number where the vibration is so unstable that one can traverse that plight into a, a productive endeavor. So throughout this week, Capricorns, what is going down, what is, what is on a verge, of being applied, of being destroyed, can be brought back, can be cultivated, and can be proceeded on further. But at the end, when you kind of like start capitalizing on these new resources of yours, you will have to as well readopt your strategy and approach the situation from a, a different angle, which kind of corresponds with the things that you should not do, which is the queen of uh, wands, that you know it all and uh, you know that you are overconfident that you can do it based on the current uh, experience that you do have as well. Additionally to that, the five of wands asks you to listen. That is very, very important. Along the way, there will be many ideas being shared with you from different peoples, from your suitor, from your partner, family as well, it could be the case, or co-workers. And these ideas at a certain point or as the at, at, that, at that time being, uh, they may seem a bit ridiculous, you know, they may seem uh, kind of unproductive. But if you 
have the open mind to listen to those ideas and just to extract only the positive aspect of it, you can uh, basically assemble a, a very good, uh, a very good to go list and a very good strategy in general, how you can overcome um, <clears throat> or how you are going to make a, um, an achievement of yours, right? So the accompanied card of the five of swords this is going to be the two of uh, the, two, the the five of wands excuse me this is going to be the two of swords and the shade that the two of swords adds here is that through calmness all these disagreements or all this uh, lack of synergy in between you and the situation is going to uh, resolve itself basically if you are feeling a little bit off place if you are feeling kind of like what you're doing is not your thing that is because uh, the situation is yet to develop and uh, adds that additional shade to my statement here that you will kind of come to uh, or you are going to be shared with a um, ideas of others ideas of your partner for example into your relationship or um, co-worker and etc etc or um, even may it could be may uh, even May it could be a, a criticism here that you have to contemplate on it because there is a, a vital information from it that you can extract and you can incorporate it into your current strategy, how to proceed either with your business, with your relationship or in general with your life. But definitely that is going to be a, a week for you Capricorns that you can traverse plight into a, a productive endeavor. Should you be ready to act? Should you be... Um, ready to listen or open to listen to what you have been told and swift with capitalizing on resources which are presented to you. In other words, being creative. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And once again, that was a general reading for Capricorn star sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way with a, in a different field for every single different uh, Capricorns. If you want your personal situation, however, to be analyzed by me just through tarot, excuse me, just like I did for the few examples in this video, that is a subject of a personal reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rat signing out now. See you around. Bye.